Hi, I'm Saskia, and I'll be talking about more advanced functionality in REDCap, which could help you when collecting data for research purposes, such as clinical trials or longitudinal studies. In this video, I will show you how to use the randomization module in REDCap. Randomization is vital in clinical trials to ensure that any effect confounding variables have on the intervention being measured will be evenly distributed among the trial's intervention and control groups. Go to your project homepage and click on Project Setup. Scroll down to the Enable Optional Modules and Customizations box. There should be a line called Randomization Module. Click Enable next to this option. Go to User Rights on the left-hand side and check that all users have appropriate access to either setup, access the randomization dashboard, or randomize patients. By selecting the corresponding checkboxes in a user's profile, you can control whether they have access or permission to perform certain actions. Setup allows a user to set up the randomization module. Dashboard allows a user to see the randomization summary dashboard. And Randomize allows a user to randomize patients. If you have any of the aforementioned privileges, Randomization module should appear on the left-hand side of the page in the application section when you refresh the page. Click on the Randomization module in the left-hand applications pane. Step 1 allows you to opt for stratified randomization, randomization by group or site, and to choose your randomization field. Sometimes specific characteristics of patient subgroups can have an effect on the intervention you're measuring. You can account for this in the randomization module by stratifying your randomizations by specific subgroups, such as age, gender, and ethnicity. If you choose stratified randomization, Select the field or fields you wish to use for stratification, for example, gender. If you choose to randomize by group or site, such as at the hospital level, select either data access groups or an existing field to decide your grouping. Finally, choose your randomization field. The field which will be used to assign the randomized intervention to the patient which is where the randomized button will appear to anyone entering data. Click Save Randomization Module. Step 2 allows you to download templates. Use these as an example to create your randomization lookup table. Create your allocation table outside of REDCap using appropriate software, such as statistical packages like Stata or online software like GraphPad the relevant randomization pattern for your project needs. Your project statistician or data scientist should be able to do this for you. Once this is complete, upload your allocation table in the step 3 box using the choose and upload file button. You may want to create and upload a test allocation table to be used for project testing and development status. Before uploading, the final allocation table in the box for production status. When you now go to your selected randomization variable, you should now see a green randomize button. Click this button to randomize the patient to your allocated groups. Please see the links in the description to additional resources alongside this video.